Who are you? Quick, no time for explain. Thanks. You saved us. But I got to ask, why? No reason. No reason? Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit the water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. Yeah, because every uh, Xenoblade game needs a no-pawn sidekick. Oh, we save uh, Nia soon. Hopefully. the question the point of that but it was the boy small. and his blade who seemed to be working with them got away but we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade the town is once again safe or see padre do you remember what my orders were sir i told you to capture the blade with the emerald core crystal did i not do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, console doodle, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what color emerald is supposed to be. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, ya clod? Oh, green! The uh, Chaos Emeralds are emerald. seven different oh, colors. Emeralds are green. You One of them mean green, but How still. How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious. How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically, I believe that's a tiger rather than a giant. Ah. Same difference. Control. Tigers are cat monsters. What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Mora has. What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the motherland. Already? Her ship has just dropped. Wait, this? This cannot be happening! You seem like you don't even belong in this universe, but that's why I welcome you all the same. Yeah, you look like the super badass military lady who probably has a soft side. You live like down here. Urza from Fairy Tale. This just back door, front entrance over there. 
makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex. Tora, explain other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, I guess. It just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just show Tora's respect. Respect for Brake Driver. Rex Rex should be proud. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure I've earned all that yet. I ate the Rex Rex oh, fruit. All right. You can call me Rex Rex. Model Driver. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! Hey, what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora. Do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to. We have to save Nier and draw Mark. I thought you would say that. Oh, you talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh, meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. I want to find Nier and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I, I can't help it, can I? Um, if it's all right with everyone, I could cook something. Pyra, I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Hey, just because you can set things on fire, it doesn't make you, you a good cook. Though? You might have Like, there's other things. skills involved. Well, you can't have everything. Unless you actually are a good cook. Sumpkins, okay. I love fictional foods, they're just so good. Alright, so cooking is a mechanic in this game. That sounds, uh, good. I like cooking in video games. Oh. Okay. So, like, where was that amazing view of the... Oh, jeez. Where was that amazing view of the, the sky sea? Like, I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Okay, let's... Try this then. All right, simple as that. Oh man, this is delicious. Oh, I like my cooking in video games. So Inu Kuni tasty. had cooking. Paper so Mario, definitely. I haven't eaten this well in a hundred and twenty years. I'm glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried the wild. I a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. But, um, I mean. But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, 
she used fire abilities just like Pyro, but the wood seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water, But it's basically chi. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so fire powers all damp. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meme? If power's not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. I can take it. I write complicated stuff all the time. I like complicated things a lot. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, um, I, uh, 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 it... Knock it off, Tula. <laughs> Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Yeah. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are his majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be on our death. You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, yeah, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? How do you... Is there a problem, Dougal? N -n uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Uh, why do you want... Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes, Your Grace. I'll take you to her right away. <laughs> so, you are the torn ruffian. I must say you look a little... Different from your poster. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends. My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call this trigger up Tona Goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I'm not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No, I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Well, that was easy. Damn it! I'm surprised you didn't think that the first time. This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right, let's look for friends of Rex Rex. 
Yeah, but don't I kind of stick out like a sore thumb too? Alright then. Yep, I don't see why not. Come out, come out! So like this is kind of built right on the side of the Titan. This does seem kind of beautiful. Yeah, this like seems like a really beautiful place to live, honestly. Kind of does. Well, okay. Just gonna go up there. Okay, there's a lot of main quest markers. Just, uh, let's head out of here. Yep. Okay, here's the amazing view of the White Sea. The Galad Residential Zone. Do other? Oh! Okay, this is just a whole other community down here. New games recently. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. So my name's dude was saying they were going to execute the prisoner within the next few days. So all guys are pretty bad, right? They killed loads of drivers to steal their core crystals. Pretty amazing, the Empire could really have captured them. The Empire's so cool. Yeah, I disagree. Well, the dude that's such a cute thing anyway. I've never seen one before. I have! I've seen plenty of Don Gun Rompa. I gotta go see for myself. You guys should come along too. Thanks. Uh, you're kinda into this whole execution thing, aren't you, little one? He must be a fan of Dong and Rumpa. So we just got a little community that's kind of just hanging over the sea. That's kind of beautiful. How high are we anyway? They said we are like really high up, but no, you can see the sea touching it right there. It's not really that high. Treasure acquired. We need no pawn wisdom, so eventually our Torna friend's gonna join the party or something? <coughs> so let's see. Those are fruits now, thanks to this bumper harvest. I was just saying, I used to make my famous fruit pie, everyone gets a slice. Everyone who treat, tries my pie says it's something special. Plantus pie, the tastiest in all of Torigoth. I like it. I like um, Pyra's little standing animation, she's been making fire. Will that just give her away, though? Because the pie's only one there. Got a little bit carried away, blowing my own trumpet there. I'm actually a bit short of some of the things I need for my pie. The traders around here are hope most are great, so I was hoping some kind person would get them for me. Leave it to me, that's very kind of you. That's a bit of hustle and some mint fish. Alright, our second side quest. Why not? Uh, except, uh, we're not actually gonna have a market, are we? Alright. Alright, we'll just go back to the main quest. Sounds like something you had to buy at the store or something. So I'll just focus on the main quest in that regard. We had to go all the way back over there? Maybe we should get higher up. Yep, seems like there's just a lot of people over here that we need to talk to. Third. I'm only worried in plans. I don't keep up with the latest rumors. Once we become a botanist, then more Dane, but parents keep saying it's too dangerous. It's been a whole decade now since more Dane these facilities. I'm sure it's been this nasty group called Torna popping up. So, still. And if that's gonna happen, uh, more, more Dane's in charge. Does this peaceful sound prove that? 
Eh, it's a pretty peaceful place, but sadly I can imagine it being pretty vulnerable. Someone ruthless enough wanted to attack. Alright, I kind of get Skyward Sword from this too, where there's diving points on Skyloft, and of course Skyloft is above um, a white sea just like this. Time for some treasure hunting. Huh. Onwards. I am so bad at this. I seriously should have gotten that first one, but I didn't. Oh, I demand a do-over. But yeah, salvaging just skips the time, so now it's daylight. I kind of prefer this area at nighttime, it was just really beautiful, but oh well. About a girl called Mia? I heard something interesting. Tornado Mara said that the Ravine Empire is captured with some Gorn girl called Mia. That name did seem familiar somehow. Did the old lore of Edsel a decade or so go have. I suppose to talk about that. It's not anything to think about so much. Oh, that sounds. That sounds interesting. The site's she's residence. No one took for free. Window Blade affects my window element as well. Certain elements are opposed to each other as well. And so you can do a fireball and blade attacks. Once you do one damage. Oh. Really like uh, the town. Gets experience if we talk to people, so I guess that's mostly why I'm talking to people. Okay, good thing we came over here. Look at this, apparently whenever a new blade is born, it has to be registered with the Praetorium of Indol. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, so I bet that guy who just got scouted to be a driver will have to go there sooner or later. When I grow up, I want to become a driver and visit Indol too. I guess uh, we're going to do that at some point. Recruiting you right there for new drivers. Yeah, I saw it earlier when you first arrived in the city. Rex, let's try to. Chance of success basically 100%. I'm wanted by the Ardenian Empire right now, remember? It seems like a bad idea to make myself conspicuous. I agree. Let's see what kind of blade Rex tries to awaken. Anyway, I don't need to awaken a blade, do I? I've already got Pyrrha. Uh, Rex also really thought drivers could only bomb with a single blade. Is that not right? Wait, <laughs> one. We are a bit short of numbers with Nia gone. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do, Gramps. Look at your whole line of the core crystals you touch it. Try to hold a clear picture in your mind as the blade you wish to awaken. I'm sorry I really understand, but I'll give it a try. Okay. Do you want to resonate with the core crystal? Ah, oh, I can skip awakening or view awakening. This is view the awakening, why not? It's our first time seeing this cutscene with Rex.
was like, good one. We're always sailing out our tour seat by resident with crystals, so cool. Don't look at me like that, you're making me feel weird. I thought you got a new recruit anyway, let's go ahead and find out what happened to Nia. Rex all so fast. What? Aren't you going to kick your new blade out? Shit. You tune up the weapon with the courtship and that spiffy there. Like before, they're now a very good time to start. The driver who uses courtship is the one who doesn't. Sorry to understand. Now for the main topic. An Oxcore shot. Driver, I want that. I thought I was doing it for the book. Let's use the hammer there and try it then. Same soul man blades power, different types. Let's get the insects away at night. I put berries, blade blade, interesting stuff. All these important parts, listen up. He's going to get an ox core, it's in an empty state. He won't lose his ear blade with an empty. Okay, so how do you fix that then? So this good right here makes boss cores useful. That's all it. Let's take a nap after this. Here we go. Okay. people. Why are we just casually asking one of the soldiers? Uh, maybe it was a good idea to ask an Ardenian soldier. Um, there's something I wanted to ask, but I clean forgot what it was. It was a nation reactor. Go pay for it at the local informant. Playing with the populace isn't our job, you understand? <laughs> Why was this even a quest marker? Of course it was a bad idea to just casually ask the police were they taken their prisoner who we were associated with. Wow. I'm the right. <laughs> now you can go over here, because no one's I'll looking one at us. Ooh, Abel's Fountain. This seems like a beautiful place. So cool, I'll get you for that one. Oh, there's people playing in it. That's cute. <laughs> that, that's really cute. At least it ain't like Paper Mario's water fountain that has piranhas swimming in it. Jeez. CR. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, my gosh, they seem to be talking about secret complicated stuff a lot, lady. Apparently there are some kind of dangerous people causing trouble. In ten years since the war between uh, the people started, why do they start more trouble? It's a real pain. Hope the Ardenian soldiers will be able to protect us. You know, I like that the soldiers have some sense of decency. I'll tell you what. All right, let's just head straight this way. It's this injury. I have to run and go visit the informer over near uh, this cell greens. That's a little no pause. I wonder what you doesn't know. Thanks. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, good jumping, dude. Jump better than Link. What? A main driver? We can just okay. fight you? Time to take you down. This is weird. We just randomly start a fight with a per with a, a blade using citizen <laughs> in the middle of town. I guess we're so we're at the entrance of town, but it's still weird how we're just casually able to fight someone here, and no one else is just getting alerted. Maybe this is a thing that happens often. I don't even know. Keep going. That's 
Maybe you should slow down. Yeah, I can keep going. Gotcha. Yeah, on the contrary, I really can't keep going. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to fight anymore. Ow. Little ladder. That's what I get for just starting to fight with the random citizen. It's fine, we'll get him yet. Thanks for taking me back to the fountain don't of light. Push yourself too hard. Alright, we'll only just cut around this corner. Um, or maybe not. Okay, you're just right in here. Who knows this, of course? Trinity is informed by Trey, cannot provide a racer without proper compensation. Okay. Wow, I have just enough money for this. This is awful. This is so weird how we have to buy it like a shop. My time balance said, one white girl being held prisoner. Unfortunately, Trinity not yet received all the specifying prisoner name. Big Sit Rhyme for Soul Hurts, the Hunting One Reason Girl. I know they sold that, that's not very welcome. Uh, it's a fresh tornado. Thanks. At least it gives me XP out of that. Yes, now we'll just head our way to the docks. Yeah, there's a lot of info, dude. Hi there. That's not easy for everyone, sadly. Well, that's life for ya. Alright. And twisting around at something. It seems like. I guess it's directly on top of me, so we need to make our way up there. What are we even looking for? I really can't tell what we're even looking for. <laughs> Only head to that big tree looking thing, maybe. Hi. Yeah. Or 
Bardain Consulate. Okay. There's treasures in there. I really don't know where we're supposed to be heading exactly. Seems like it's implying we're supposed to climb to the top of the tree. Ugh. I don't know from where we do that. Trying to go back to um, our house or something. We're we going back to his house. Yeah. So? Oh, that's a big yes. <laughs> they didn't waste time trying to climb a tree. Nia and Dromark executed. Doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Rex, we can't put everyone in danger. Right, sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's ruse, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Tora... Uh, Tora has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and... Oh, you did, didn't you? Yes, one year ago, Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Tora, you mean you? It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know. Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampypon and Danapon. But Grampypon die, and Tora still not know where Danapon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then, Dad upon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, 
Nakamura, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. Nothing. At all. Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Just like a nopon? <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes artificial blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want the kidney as well? Calm down, Lex. I think we owe Tora our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? How exactly? Nothing illegal. I hope. Don't even joke, Gramps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it. I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Rex Rex is too generous. You know he just spent 3,000 on that dumb info. Be seriously useful though, Tora. Leave that to Tora. Well then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! We literally, we literally only have 800. not have money though, seriously. Well, I guess we can try some of our materials. Push on the select button will actually go to the same menu. So we don't screw it up, though. Yeah, why not? Hi there. Yeah, it looks like the figure is right now. 
few of these and finally you can take care of the issue for me. Built me out like this field up spare part range sensor I got lying around the storage. That sounds perfect. Didn't didn't we go there actually? Didn't we just go there on the way here? There's all those old 40 monsters. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> yep! Okay! Uh, good thing we already activated the warp point, we can just head there right now. So? And get wrecked by more level 40s. And the level 9 among 40s for some reason. Let's see the monster Kidwin was talking about. Doesn't look like a pushover, that's for sure. Uh, compared to all these level 40s, uh, we can wreck this guy easy! Which can help too. Probably not much good for anything other than decoy and lore. In the front of that, we can handle this one just fine. Right, Pierre? Absolutely. No need to rely on just my power, though. You should make full use of all your blades. I will drive, but twice the blaze means twice the potential. Good point. I remember that. All right, let's do this. If they seek a fight, they will get one. Ha! This dude has to actually put the other blade, though. Huh? What so much? Double spinning edge. All we had to do? Seems like that's all we had to do. Someday I'll be back and take your ass down, random citizen who I can fight. Oh no, I meant to talk to talk to this dude. Hey, I'm back. Look at that chip and crabble, did you? I knew I made the right call asking you guys. Here's a perfect range sensor, as promised. Thanks. My around since my grandma's generation is a bit dusty, but it should work just fine. Thanks for all your help. Everything should be fine now. Alright, that's great. So we want the Bion connector. Is that it? So we literally just gotta save up money to... You know what? See if we can sell stuff. I feel like there's other stuff we can sell, it seems like. Uh, 
Alright, well here's the first one we can buy. We need like three of them, don't we? Fuck. Oh, this is gonna be awful. Of course, we couldn't just sell the damn buying connector, could we? About this. I mean, I guess I could try to salvage it, but I mean, it just seems kind of unreliable to be honest. It's a little expensive, isn't it? Oh, the level leveled up. Nice. I'll eat. Maybe we should just try salvaging. Is there a salvage spot around? I know there's one over in this area. I'll just try this area, I guess. And then get totally wrecked by the anglerfish that's gonna come up. Shall we? Is he saying there's a monster up here now? Hey, talk about that. Stay on your car. Out the juice. <sighs> it's fine. We'll get him yet. No, we won't. Don't push yourself too hard. I guess I should just try to raise 4,000 gold the old-fashioned way. Just go kill a bunch of enemies. Just sold all my... Sold all my crap just to...
whatever. Let's just head over back to this side and <laughs> we can swim across the sea. That's that's fun. See you later.